Hello YouTubers. Gonna do another firing of a 5.2 gram steel ball bearing against the Dell laptop there. This time I'm gonna try and go for uh, an area which isn't protected with the aluminum shielding there. Um, so yeah, got the gun pumped up to about 410, 420 PSI. Ball bearing is loaded. As you can see, I have a PVC sleeve over the barrel now, and I have some foam rubber on the inside of the barrel, uh, sorry, between the barrel and the PVC to help center it, and uh, they'll be painted black here probably this weekend. Um, but yeah, let's get to the firing, and here we go. And there it was. Let's go take a look at how we did. There's the hole. Right where I wanted it to go. So I guess we'll see how deep it went into there. Oh, it's looking pretty good. There's the, before I even open it up, there's the damage that it did to the back. Um, let's see if I can get a better view of this. There it is. Pretty nasty. Okay, so it blew right through here. And you can actually see the bearing down inside there. Let's see if I can get a closer view of this. The bearing is right inside there. Um, let me try and open that up a little bit and we'll get a better shot of the bearing. All right, well, I pretty much had to destroy the keyboard uh, to get at the ball bearing. There is the damage that it did to the keyboard. It's actually an aluminum uh, bottom keyboard. And then it went in and broke up an IC inside there and also damaged the uh, wireless card and then proceeded to almost exit out the back. So not too bad. Pretty much right where I was aiming. Pretty happy with this shot. Um, maybe tomorrow or maybe even later tonight I'll try and shoot it from the back and see what happens. So. Stay tuned, thanks. Actually ended up digging a little deeper here, and that was no regular IC that it actually went through. It turns out that it was the processor. Um, blew a corner of it off, as you can see there, and dented it pretty well. It also broke every single solder joint on it, and there is a, hopefully an okay image um, of the processor solder mount, and you can see it's pretty well dented from the ball bearing. So yeah, turns out it went right through the uh, processor and broke all the solder joints off it and then almost made it out the back.